So, what's going on, folks? I am going to be looking for the Barbaroy Axe, the Beast AF1 weapon. So, let's go get it. I already started the quest. That was uh, Brutus, the Chocobo guy, in Upper Juno. I went up there last night, tried to get the key, but I died. Uh, um, I guess I should back back up a little bit. I need to go to Upper Delkfuts, Delkfuts, Delkfuts Tower, thank you, and get a Delkfuts Tower key from um, Giants up there. And I need to use the key on the chest and get a key item, and then bring that key item back to Brutus for the weapon. So, let's do that. Now, I could get a bunch of sneak uh, silent oils and prism powders and make my way up there, but I think, uh, I mean, I got my shoes and, and gloves, the Santa shoes and Santa gloves, and I got some powders, but I, I mean, I don't have a ton and they're expensive, so... I guess I'll just fight my way up. It'll be more fun that way. Better to stream. Let's go. Let me just go to Facebook quick and do a little share. Actually, I can do that while I'm running. So, give you guys some volume for the fun. Okay. Gonna be fighting giants and bats and ghosts. So if I'm gonna be fighting bats, then preferably I would need a um an amorph pet, which I do not have any jugs for. I don't know if there are any jugs for amorph pet sets before 75. Um, so I will just go with my strongest one, which is the tiger. Go ahead and call said tiger now in case I get aggro from dancing weapons like I just did. Kaiser Sword. Sweet. It's a quest item. If I want to do the quest, or I can just use the sword. Uh, 
I am Sub Thief for the Treasure Hunter. I just hit level 40 last night. Currently 40 Beast, 30 Monk, Thief 24, and a couple others. I think I'll still get aggro from... Oh, here, let me help you. I'm your hero. I'm your hero, thank you. Couple of Razor Fangs. Razor Fang, 225 damage. Nice. Yeah, this tiger is pretty good damage. Um, garbage truck. But I think this tiger is capped out now. Unless it's different on this server, tiger should be capped out at level 40. So after this level, I probably shouldn't use tiger. Or I still could, but it's not going to be the best damage. Courier carry is probably the way to go if just for a... Um, a good reliable pet all the way to 75 but there are others too HQ lizard soon I can use I think chop suey no uh, what's the lizard's name I forget the HQ lizard's name oh worm I don't want to, I'll leave you, oh, intimidated by my presence. That's right, you are. I will leave them, leave that for other XP parties to use. Because I'm just a good, good guy. All right. And stay tuned, I'm going to show you the secret way up to the top floor. In... Duckwick's Tower. Doink. Okay. So it's not so annoying to get aggroed by giants on the way up if you want to kill those giants. But all these bottom floor giants here and the ghosts in the bottom floor, they're going to aggro me. But what are you going to do? Oh, hello, Teddy. Oh, cleared the room for me. Thanks. There might be a group up there killing poor Fyreon, so that helps. I'm going to go not upstairs. I'm going to go 
into the path behind here. Oh look, thank you for killing the bogey for me. Let's see if I can avoid the ancient bat. Nope, ancient bat aggro. Ancient bats will aggro, secret bats don't, but secret bats linked with the ancient bat. Let me grab both of them with my roar. Okay, tiger's tanking. Seeker bats, you should be attacking the tiger. Fight the tiger, please, or the bats, please. I'll just let all just go in there and aggro things. Two sixty nine. Here's the secret way. I've already done the mission three three for my for Bastok. So I already have the Delk Fox key key item, and I can just open this door, and then take the elevator all the way up to the top floor. And he's resting, so he's not going to be able to take these ghosts for me. Not unless there are nothing here. Well, that's nice. I'll just keep going. All right, there's something around the corner here, probably the ghosts. Boogie, yep. I'm going to go ahead and rest. The worst thing they're going to do is curse me, because I have no way to cure the curse. That would suck. comes. Really? All that rusting. 109 HP drain. Come on. Here comes the other one. I guess Tiger's taking both. Paralyze both. Nice. No, I don't need to do that again. No, not curse, not curse. Missed me, missed me. Yes! Tiger's cursed though. That sucks. I got super lucky. Hey, bloody rope. That's cool. Not that I need it.
This sounds funny. Somebody's down here killing them. There should be a bunch of giants right in front of me here. Yep. No ass. 42 Beastmaster. He's already got his Barbaroi, so he's not going to compete with me. I'm going to wave to him because he's a Beastmaster friend. Wave, Beastmaster. Transport up to the top. But I'm going to fully rest before I do that. Yes, he's asking if I'm doing the axe. Need help farming the key? Absolutely, since you already have it. Sure, thanks. Alright, teamed up with no ass. Get into white HP here. Okay. Hmm. Where are you fighting? Or fiery on. Ouch. Tiger is still cursed, so. leave this room. This is dangerous. Get some treasure hunter on this torturer here. Bug's been bugging me.
Where does this door go? Demonic doll. IT, no thank you. here oh what's up hatred is beast usable in parties now with the class changes i know that was a speculation that was speculation it is definitely usable in parties um the only reason it wouldn't be usable in parties is if it affected uh xp and it hasn't affected xp for a long time unless you charm something that is above the level where you're synced to or the highest level of the group so Um, so no, as, uh, as far as I know, everything is uh, fine with Beast. I've actually partied quite a bit with Beast, and I know there are some... Um, some parties that party with only beasts. Maybe only five beasts and one white mage or something. Beast is actually very popular on this server. I just started watching. I just started. I watched your window of your guide, and I can't get to save my save to save my profile, so I'm stuck with the sheet. Um, do you have a profile already created? Some people realize they need to have a profile already created before that uh, before that profile the settings page will show up with anything in there. And if that doesn't work, there is something else you can do. key if you don't have a profile already created go ahead and just create a, uh, a profile a generic profile in your windower and once that is created you'll be you'll probably see a config file show up or maybe, maybe it's a profile a profile uh, file or a config file and then once you go into that then you should be able to to see profiles already there then you can add a profile with the steps in that video and then another profile will show up that to use if that doesn't work, there is something else you can do. But that's kind of like a, a last step type thing. Although it's probably a good idea to do it anyway. But anyway, try that first and see, that, see where that takes you. Oh, fighting some pots. All right, I'll take some pots.
Yeah, there's the key. All right. I saw the chest back there in the big room. Be right back. A, three, four, two, B, three, four, five. You still play on Cat's Eye? Uh, not for a while. Um, I've just kind of been so into this game, uh, this server, that I haven't really... I For the first like month or so away from Cat's Eye, I still logged in just to get my login points and stuff, but I've just been so obsessed with this that I just haven't gone back. I mean, I'm not going to delete my account or anything, but... For now, I'm just concentrating on this one. I'm sure I'll be back at some point. Okay, let's go. Guiding bell, please. Hopefully it's not an illusion. <gasps> Got it. Got the guiding bell. Oh, I forgot to get an instant warp. I don't think any warp cudgels exist on this server yet either, by the way. back to town. Are BC and M's working? Yes, they are. At least the ones that I've tried are. The I did the Creeping Doom one with that one single crawler with a couple of Beastmasters. Three Beastmasters. Three Beastmasters, and we finished that one easily. Um, I actually have... There's actually something interesting that uh, you may or may not know about. They did a bunch of changes to the to those um, BCNM-specific sub-job items. Um, sub-job, like, RSC items. Like, they... Um, um, the earrings and the belts and the back pieces and the shields um, that all require to be activated as a latent effect of the sub job, they they actually changed a bunch of those. So now some of them are actually really good. Like for example, the thief one, the thief earring, um, the pilferer's earring. If you have thief as a sub job, it's no longer dex plus two; it's critical hit rate plus three, I think. So there's a bunch of them that are actually changed. I'm actually working on a spreadsheet right now to categorize all those changes and I'm gonna put that out at some point soon I think and basically basically a big chart that a big spreadsheet that goes over all of the BC and M's and where you can get Utsusimi Ni and stuff like that so it's just a putting it all together in one place so what's up Rogers 18 beasts last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23, you get uh, jug pets. 25, you get sick and ready. And that's where beast really gets fun. The um, Esquire's earring, the one with the sub paladin. If you're subbing paladin, normally you get the defense plus five, I think, with that on the retail. But here you get HP 20 and MP 20 for having paladin sub. Where you would want paladin sub? I don't know, maybe for tanking on Warrior, I guess, but it's there. Um, let's see what else. Let me just go to my spreadsheet quick. I'll give you a few, um, a few sneak peeks. I could run while I do that, though. Oh, here we go. Already down. 
Uh, let's see here. I have it like sort of put it into my massive spreadsheet. Uh, there, I have a massive horizon info spreadsheet that I have like sort of published for people to look at. I haven't put it into that spreadsheet yet, but. Um, I want to wait till it's kind of done before I do that. So let me give you a sneak peek here. Um, yeah, the earring for Sub Thief has, instead of Dex 2, it has Critical Hit Rate 3. Um, the belt for Sub Thief doesn't have Dagger plus 5, it has Accuracy plus 3. So you can have Accuracy plus 3 at level 30 on a belt, which is really early to have Accuracy on a belt. Um, the Sub Red Mage belt gives, uh, instead of Sword, sword Skill plus 5, it gives uh, End Spell Damage plus 3. So well, that's cool. Um, any other interesting ones? Oh, um, the Dragoon Belt, instead of giving Pole Arm pl a skill plus five, it gives Haste plus two on a belt if you're a sub Dragoon. Combine that with the earring that still does the Haste plus five percent, you can have Haste plus seven percent sub Dragoon at level 30. So, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? The um, So far, not a lot of the shields and the mantles have been found, or at least uh, available. They don't, like, publish the all of the Horizon-specific uh, gear changes or anything, so it's just like, kind of, like, out there for people to discover. And so far, I haven't seen on the AH a bunch of those items. So my spreadsheet right now is fairly incomplete. Just because... They just don't either don't exist yet or nobody has sold them on the auction house yet for me to check out and, and put down here. The bard earring for bar, bard sub instead of giving you evasion plus five, it gives you minuet plus one. Um, the beast earring for subbing beast uh, that actually would be better at the retail, I think. That's um, accuracy plus five, but now it's charisma plus two. But I guess if you're subbing beast, you might want the extra charisma for the um, for the charming since you have to charm on sub beast. And what else is interesting? Several other ones. So yeah, um, put out a spreadsheet at some point here. Kind of like a place you can go to where if you're doing a BC9, you can kind of look in one place and see what you want to do. So yeah. And I'm cursed for 26 minutes. You know what? If I'm going to be walking slow for the next 26 minutes... Ugh. Painful. Oh, hello, loon. Can you kill Gigas up there? You mean the NM? Patriot says, yeah, the motto is play and find out and I'm okay with the mystery of a lot of changes. I know there are some class changes I'm curious about and some being nerfed and buffed. Oh. <laughs> He's just, he doesn't need me to kill the NM up there. He just, uh, sure, I'll help you. Um, he just, a little call for help or something. I'm trying to help you, call for help. Call for help, oh, okay, enjoy the join party. Ready to call another pet because this one's about to die.
It's like Curse is like the worst debuff. Movement speed, that's just insult to injury right there. Imagine if you're cursed and gravitied. That would be terrible. Congratulations. Maybe if you could curse not me, I would uh, I would appreciate that. But no. But no. <laughs> okay, magic urn. Should I let myself die or should I just like walk slow for the next 22 minutes? <laughs> oh boy, this is painful. Should I let myself die? Maybe not. For the sake of the stream, maybe I will. Okay, ancient bat, bogey. Let me grab the other two bats with the link. Okay, have at it. I can't move at all. I'm bound. Ancient bats are intimidated by me. Seeker bats are intimidated. Okay. No longer cursed. That would really suck that the curse persist as persisted after death. Be like, surprise, Horizon fans. We buffed Curse, so it, you have to exist with it. Alright, here we go. I'm going to remove this thing here for now, so you can see how wonderful it is to finish your AF1 weapon. Here, here's the guiding bell you asked for. Barbaroi X. Equip that bad boy right now. Pretty decent upgrade from what I'm using. Two strength, two charisma. Oh, pet accuracy plus three. That's new for the server. Pet accuracy plus three. Not bad. That did not exist. Was not on there before at all. Okay, well, mission accomplished. What do I do now? Let me take a quick five minute break and I'll be right back. Here, enjoy the music of Upper Juno.
And I'm back. So, what do I want to do? Should I go solo on Beastmaster somewhere? Should I get a party? Should I level a different job? By the way, I have unlocked all of the jobs except for Summoner, because I have not found a, uh, a Leech's Ruby, Carbuncle Ruby, thank you. And. That's the only one I haven't unlocked. So I could go level a low level job. <laughs> what job would be the easiest for me to get to 75? Probably Bard. But I kind of hate Bard. I love Bards, but I don't like playing Bard. Or at least I haven't really played Bard the right way. When I leveled Bard on retail, I was just a gimpy thief with my trusts getting it to 99. Just for the records of eminence completion. Red Mage? I love Red Mage. But if I'm going to play Red Mage, I'm going to be a mailing Jack of All Trades Red Mage. I don't want to be stuck refreshing and hasting everybody for, the, for weeks and weeks. And that's all. Um... But I do like Red Mage. I like, especially like Red Mage Ninja. Grab myself two swords and have some fun. But, however, the Red Mage, you don't get haste until 48, I think. And refresh is not until 40. So if I hate level Red Mage just for the sub-job purposes, then I won't have to worry about that. People will have to accept me meleeing too. Um, Beastmaster, can I have it? Ooh, t two out of three UO. Yes, I want to do that. Tell Callow what? Search all Callow. No? Who are you? What are you again? What's your name again? K Kala. Okay. Kala. Yes, please. Yes, please. Invite me to UO. Yeah, Red Mage is expensive. All those spells. I do have 50k, though. Atajeev? Yay for Horizon. I agree. Kellen, open. Invite me, please. One sec. Okay. UO, under observation. That means that... Let me just check my spreadsheet here. Under observation. Oh, I don't have that on my spreadsheet. I only have up to sky orbs at 30 BCNMs or 30 seals. So let me just check on wiki quick. Under observation. Oh, he invited me. Yes, okay. Peacock Charm is possibility. Boyard Lance, Mutilator, Raifu, Buzzard Tuck, Dissainter's Axe, Grudge Sword, Tourney Pataz, Tilt Belt, Mantra Belt. And of course, Ice Spikes, Refresh, Erase, Utsusemi, Knee, and Phalanx. I am totally down for this. Under observation, let's do it. So I need a star orb. Do I have a star orb already? I think I do. I do have a star orb. Long time ago, you'll have to remind me. down to attempt you can charm the triple bats and make them fight for fight the other triple bats we kill big bat oh wait that's not under observation under observation is the heck dies you mean wings of fury 
<laughs> Either way, I'll do it. I've soloed Wings of Fury many times back in the day. So, yeah, I'm down. Um, Wings of Fury instead. Sorry about that, folks. We're going to do Wings of Fury. Wings of Fury. I just did the quest Wings of Gold, by the way, so that's funny. Um, Wings of Fury is the cloudy orb. Let me grab a cloudy quick. And empty some of this inventory for sure. Bloody robe. Don't need that. Bird feather, bat wing. Oh, here we go. Um, At to Jeeve says, I'm still shocked that Beast is the number one played advanced job. I honestly, honestly surprised since the mindset of retail about pets. Yep. Maybe the word's gotten out that uh, the pets aren't uh, a curse on the party. Uh, always got questioned when playing in Beast in Retail and made the Eimer. I have never, in my retail or um, private server times, I've never had a Beast Relic of any kind. I can... Uh, airship. Or I can go Beast Hollow. I can go Hollow, but... Yeah, whatever. Um, sorry, let me... Finish this up here. Let me. Bat wings. Consolidate those. I'll drop the bird feathers and grab an orb. Beast Pet Mage was always a great job, great sub job. I had lots of fun. Yep, I. I had my time at Beast White Mage too, but. Right now, I'm going to be sub thief because of the treasure hunter. Guess we're going to Hala. And you know what? I'm going to send myself a bunch of my extra stuff here because I do not want to have any missing space for this BCNM. Actually, I need to have level 20 gear too, so I can't get rid of everything. Just make sure I have options for all pieces. Barbaro Axe, that's not going to work. Kaiser Sword. I don't, I don't have a level under 20. I need to, damn it, I need to get an axe. I need a Cloudy Orb. Cloudy Orb, please. I have 122 seals. And like three orbs just sitting there, so... Need a quick cheap dagger or axe, I mean. Platoon axe, how much is that? 4K! Light axe, how about that? That's cheap, right? Oh, 200 gil, yeah. Got the light axe, okay. Sorry for the weight bunny. I also need some jugs. No, I don't. I can't use any jugs for that. I need to charm. I soloed Wings of Fury with Beast Blue and Spells Cocoon Metallic Body helped a bunch in case you missed a charm. Yep. I think I think the last time I did Wings of Fury solo was before even Blue came out. But I can see that being awesome. Beast Blue and Monk were always my favorite jobs. I 
don't know if he already paid Bunny, but I'm going to anyway. to be uh, live streaming this so I might as well record Wings of Fury here so for the, the channel. How much are 1k you getting a bird? If he's not getting a bird I'm not getting a bird. I think he's still AFK. I'm walking. I'm not spending that one candle bird. Especially since there's a possibility of grabbing a ram on the way. Now that I'm level 42. 40, sorry. I can kill the regular rams and the first tier NM ram, I think. Be still loyalty has five seconds left. That's convenient. Taking the Ankle Express. Is the Chocobo quest sped up on this server? Uh, yes, it is on this server. It is every game day you can trade. So that's like every three or four minutes. Not game day, game hour. Sorry, game hour. Game hours, like four minutes. Are Jug Pits basically even matched to you, or are they level one behind? One level, one level, one level behind. I am not sure. I know, obviously, on retail, they're either one or two levels behind you, unless you have your AF uh, Relic Gloves and Merits. But, on this server, I, I think I've heard once that they are the same level as you when you're called, unless they're at their cap, obviously. But I haven't heard for sure, so I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's a ram. Battering ram, there's a normal quality ram. So there's only two ram pops in this zone. Or in Constant Highlands for that matter. Is there another one? Up yet. I need to go. If that one's there, then I should see the next one on the path. Battering Ram. Oh, wait. All the way back there. Might be the one I just saw, though. It might not be dead right now. Ooh, 
one up here. Wide scan. Let's get it. Hey, where'd it go? It's not on wide scan. Might have just died. Yeah, it's gone. This dude right here who killed it. Ooh, he's a horizon breaker. Horizon breaker. That's funny. This server is called Horizon. How about that? I didn't realize the image wasn't back. Oh well. Jacks. That's funny. So, what is this dude doing? Better get a choke about this, right? So, Wings of Fury. There he is. Um, Wings of Fury is um, Astral Ring, Platoon Weapons, Scrolls of Invis, Sneak, and Deodorize, and some low level goldsmithing rocks. So, really, the only thing that's worthy in here is the Astral Ring. I guess the Platoon stuff is cool too, but. It's mostly the Astral Ring. Platoon Lance for sure. If I get one of those, I'm just going to have to like level D Dragoon just so I can use it. That thing kicks ass at level 20. Platoon Lance. thing just rocks. Also, the Platoon Axe I just looked at. I didn't want to buy for 4k. That would be cool for doing this fight in the future. Platoon Dagger, Platoon Sword, Gonko, and Gunromaro. I guess I could use all those. Platoon Dagger, for example, I could use for my level 24 Thief. Platoon Edge, if I had it and didn't have to buy it, then I could use that for Thief Pulling for sure. Platoon Sword, that's the Great Sword. 33 damage Great Sword at level 20. So, yeah. Gonko and Gunromaro. Gonko is the level 20 Katana. 
Con Romaro's level 20 Great Katana, 33 damage. But yeah, Astral Ring, the way to go. So this is a Dragoon, I think. Right? Yeah. So this is a Dragoon. I'm guessing... Um, I'm guessing I'm going to charm one of the bats. Let's send it on the big bat. Just so we can tank it. And then we're both going to kill the small bat. And then go after the big bat. Rocco has a burning Hakutaku eye. That means his main job must be level 65 plus or so. Yeah, it should go alright. Got a Dragoon with piercing damage on the bats, that's fine. If he did get a he did get a chocobo. Look how fast he got to Rock Ron Fair. He's gonna beat me there, isn't he? He's gonna beat me there. Because of his chocobo. Oh yeah, look at where he is. Either he's speed hacking or chocoboing. Big Willy style 658. How do you move the mini map? Do you press shift on the map or just shift anywhere? You press shift, just hold down shift and then click and drag it with the mouse. Like this. Hold shift, click and drag. No problem. See, already passed me. He is straight. It's gotta be. No, not quite. I can't imagine I'll beat him there. He must have taken a wrong turn. Yeah, there he is. 41, 40, 
37, 36, 32, 30, 25, 20 yalms. 10 yalms. 5 yalms. There he is. <laughs> is it yalms or malms? Is it yalms is the, the feet and then like the malms is the mile or something like that? Alright, so when I get to this uh, quest uh, shack here, the hut, I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And hopefully my computer can handle live streaming while recording a video. Um, and I'm going to make believe I'm just making a video here. So um, I'm just going to act like I'm making a video. And then I'll just publish that video later. And yeah. I'm thinking at some point, let me let me get your input, everyone, uh, all four of you. Um, what do you think I could do with my stream to make it look cooler? Should I reduce the screen size and have my myself off to the side and have like a chat on the top of me or something? Or should I have, I'm looking for ways to increase the production quality. And if you hear some scratching, that is a dog wanting to go outside, but I got Wings of Fury to do so the dog can wait. Unless for some reason he needs to go AFK quick, then I will also. Is he behind me right now? Or did he go the wrong way? How many people are here? Wow. 21 people here. Probably a bunch of people waiting to do BCNMs. Yep. Oh, there he is. Gray boy first. Uh, it looks like they're doing petrifying pear in there. It's cool that you can see him in there doing it. Looks like a warrior's kiting. Looks like this mage is resting for MP. Warrior's kiting. Kaloa's almost dead. Why don't you just kill it? Just kill Kaloa. Uh, looks like that must be a Dark Knight because they just cast a spell on Kaloa. Or no, maybe it was a mage. 3%, just do it. Okay, dead. Clap. Free seven gill. Twenty nine spaces. Oh, I forgot to drop my. Hmm. I'll worry about that when the time comes. I forgot to send my stuff back to myself. Oh, well. That should be quick doing that fight there. By the way, I'm live streaming this on my YouTube channel. Always gotta pimp the channel.
Where's the dragon? Still alive. Not touched yet. What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, Big Willy. I will probably fuck up. For sure. It's very possible. Serenus M. Kutalion. It's going down by 1%, 2%. It's going to take a while. Is it dead already? Oh, no, all right. Just walk too far away. 73%. My moat carp has sold to Briley for 1930. Funny. I don't have any moat carps on the age. It's taking forever. Percent. So as soon as I see them come out, I will go in. These guys are gonna try to get in, aren't they? What's going on, folks? Here I am about to do Wings of Fury, the level 20 BCNM with the cloudy orb with this uh, person that shouted earlier. And we're going to go through this and have some fun and uh, hopefully get an astral ring. So join with me, please. I'm going to charm a Furies, attack Colo Colo. We're going to kill the other Furies. And then we'll see. Sorry about the dogs barking. That sucks. They'll be okay. Okay, let's do it. Fight Colo Colo. Start by charming them.
Okay, we're, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I guess I should have uh, made sure of the plan before we started, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We'll be all right. Stop it, dogs! Main task done. Let my furries die. My furries is holding out there. Go furries. I mean the other furries so we can continue on with this. My orb, so hopefully we get an astral ring on this first try. Let's go. I'm gonna bring out the bring back the chat box for you to see the drops as they come. That's not the right one. There we go. Pardon me, I'm a professional streamer, everyone. Don't mind me. Furry's almost dead. Okay. We're on the same page here. Good for us. Yes, jump on those birds, please. Yeah, these are considered birds, by the way. Bats in this game are considered birds. That's weird. One weapon skill. Let me do one. Jetstream, watch out. Okay. Let's see what we got. Give me it, give me it, give me it. It's already done, just can't see it yet. Give me it. Two platoon daggers. Meh. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Meh. All right, folks. Well, there's Wings of Fury. Cloudy Orb, 20 Beastman Seals. And two bats, two triple bats and one single bat. Charm one. Fight the other. Basically do that. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And we're back alive. All right, so I think she probably passed on everything already. So let me make sure I get the daggers. Um, I'm going to drop these bird feathers just in case. Dagger. Dagger. Best thing actually is deodorize, I guess. So I'll grab that. And then I'll rest. Actually, I'm going to go over here and find the... Let's watch the fight. What are they doing? Fodder Chief Vod... Fodder Chief Vokdek. Strong Arm Zodvod. And... Hey, Yellow Flash. Is that the YouTuber Yellow Flash? There's three in there, right? Oh, I guess one just died. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> Cla 
Oh, the orb I can drop, I think. Or can I trade it back? Can I trade the, this cloudy orb back to Shami and get like something back from him? I am looking to sell the ring, by the way, if I get it. But obviously I didn't, so. Um, I'm going to drop these pebbles. It's only 20 gil. Yellow Flash is stuck in there because they went in before Yellow Flash exited. No, there he goes. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not going to get anything else. This yellow flash is trying to get in on us. Or drama. So what was that that he was doing anywhere? Strong arm. Strong arm. Vod. Vodbok. Zodbod. That was just a mission, right? Sandori mission one three. Yeah, that wasn't wasn't anything. Just did the mission. Still doing, yeah. What are they doing in there? I think this will have to be my last for now. Have to go AFK quick after anyway. After this fight, I'll go AFK for a little bit and take care of these dogs. And then come back and do something when I come back. I'm not sure what. After I get back, I will take a trip through Rangemont Pass and Posidine Glacier and up to Zarkabar to get my final teleport crystal. There's also an NM that I want to kill in Posidine Glacier, but I think I'm too low right now. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure.
Glo is still full. Callum Mainu is almost dead. I should totally lop this guy's astral ring. Of course I will give it to him. Of course I will. Of course I would. Of course. Of course. Just kidding. If you're watching right now, just kidding. I would never do that. Give it back, that is. Uh, plus, I don't have anywhere to store it. Although, I guess I would probably drop something to get it, even for the joke. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. Of course. Six percent. <laughs> Draw distance, set E, set enemies, ten, two. Let me try that. Draw distance set world 10. Okay. Draw distance set E 10. Since I can see things very far away, I guess. Low is at 21%. So That's basically what I did. I just sort of like... I guess I just got too close for the charm. I should have just charmed from farther away. That's probably it. Yeah, gotcha. Yep, yep gotcha. I was probably just too close to it and it got all the bats and then set one on him and then I was getting attacked by all three and then it worked out eventually. Hey, 13 people watching. Hey, down to 10. Okay. Hatred says, so I created a new profile of Windower. The problem is every time I save the XML and reopen the Windower profile, it's gone. I'm at a loss here. Um, hmm. Are you opening with Notepad or Notepad++? Plus plus? Or WordPad? Ready. Going in, going in. Oops. Hot door, yes. Wings of Fury, let's do it. This one's a little closer. Wait till the very edge of it turning blue. 
There we go. This is ready. Oh, there we go. Okay. Charmed. Successfully charmed. Now let's set on that bat. Nope, it's not charm. Fight. Fight the furries. Fight the furries. Sorry, there's a macro error. We got it, we got it, don't worry. Try notepad and plus plus. Every time you save the XML file and reopen window where the profile is gone. Hmm. I don't know. That's... Maybe you're saving it to the wrong place? Is the profile just... The one you just opened, you save it, and it's just gone after you save it? So the default profile in the profile file stays, but not it doesn't save what you're actually doing. Is that right? That's weird. That doesn't seem right. Is it being saved as an XML file still? Or are you maybe saving it as a... just a notepad file? I don't know. Good luck. I promise I won't steal it. Treasure... Nope. Platoon pole, platoon dagger. Yeah. Oh well. Is Windower better than Horizon Launcher? I mean, Windower is what you're probably used to, you know? So it's like, done passing all those at once. Um, I mean, Windower is better if you're used to Windower, I guess, and that's what you like. And there's different add-ons you can have, but really the launcher itself, I don't have any problems with it really. Um, I, I suspect it uses more, more RAM because of the, uh, or maybe it uses pro more processor or whatever. Whatever this uses more of, it, it probably uses that more because of all the, the graphics and stuff. But you can turn those off in the in the launcher. <clears throat> you can basically have. It's, it's basically the what the the add-ons are available for, Ashido versus Windower. What add-ons you like better to use? 
Um, personally, I just got used to what Ashita offers, Ashita 4 offers with the launcher. And I found a XP watch up there in the upper right corner that works with it. It's actually better than Point Watch or EXP Watch from Windower. So I don't have any issues with, with the launcher. If I didn't like the textures or the music, I just turned those off. And it looks like normal Final Fantasy XI. So. Plus with the launcher, you know you're getting all the right dats for your um, uh, for your game. If you use the Windower, you have to do something special. You have to click on a certain file that says, don't touch this registry, you know. Um, There's a file you have to touch. And that basically sets your horizon to be like the registry Final Fantasy XI. I think and that, and that it seems to like that corrects the the uh, bad dats file. You know, if you're in Windower, you see the Mandal as the onions onion great axe instead of the onion great axe because of the dat files. With launcher, you just with Horizon launcher, you just see it the way it's supposed to be. With this, with um, with Windower, you're going to see those bad files and you may not even be able to equip them. So, <clears throat> generally, I think the launcher is probably better. If Ashita had an add-on that let me let me move my party from the bottom right, I'd use it. I'd like XP, XIV party, letting me move where I like it. Hmm. I didn't know about that. Tell Rocco wave. I guess I'm just used to the classic look of everything, so with only certain adjustments, and that's why the launcher is fine for me. Um, I do believe that it takes it's a little more tasking on the computer to use the launcher with all of them. So on my laptop, which isn't as good as my desktop, um, deodorize. Is Rocco watching my stream? Rocco, are you here? Um, or are you asking me to deodorize you because you stink? Or are you asking me to deodorize myself because I stink? Either way, I can't use deodorize right now. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Launcher, yes. I think it's more tasking on the computer, so on, on yeah, you need a better computer to use the launcher. So my laptop in my bedroom when I play, I use Windower, and everything seems fine because I clicked on that file that says don't touch underscore registry, and it kind of like corrected the uh, the dat issues and stuff. So if that tells you anything. I would say if you can use the launcher and it runs fine, use that. If you have to use Windower, then hopefully you'll figure it out. But I'm not an expert on all that stuff, so... Okay, these dogs are really want to go outside. I don't feel like cleaning up poop, so I'm going to go AFK for a bit. Good luck on your adventures. I'm going to hang out here for a second. And let these dogs out. Maybe grab a snack, and I'll be right back. Maybe five or ten minutes, maybe. So what's better music? Ron Fair or Sindoria? Let's go Sindoria. Hopefully 10 people will still be here when I get back. Okay, we're back. And I'll mute you because the dogs are about to go crazy.
Okay, I am back. Oh, hello, Shishi. Wave, Shishi. And you're gone. She. See, she. Wave. All right, what now? Take a trip to Zarkabard. Giovanni, look at this guy. Look at this fancy dude. 62 thief, hardcore. He's got a fancy shirt, he's got a fancy hat. Giovanni, see you know the highest hardcore person? Faka, yes. Yep. Where are you, Buka Faka? Are you nearby? Too many people, I can't see you if you're watching. Um, let me sell some things I just got. Platoon daggers, 700 kill, that's it. Let's go 600. Kaiser sword, ooh, 2k, nice. Carrion dagger, that's what I use on thieves, so I'll keep those for a bit. Um, get back to my Barbaroi. Centurions, 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 Beast. Centurions, Centurions. Actually, let's see if there's any pilfer rings. Earrings. Let's actually see if there's any more shields or back pieces that have shown up for my spreadsheet. So, first, let me see if I can get a pilfer earring. Pilfer earring, there's one on the AH. Critical hit rate 3%. Hmm. No sales yet. Let me see if I can get one for 5K. Is 5K value enough value? There's 5K the right value for it. Cannot buy for 5K. <clears throat> Is it worth more than 5K to me? Critical hit rate 3%. I don't have an earring right now at all. Hit rate three percent. How noticeable will that be? Not very. Not very noticeable. Am I willing to spend twenty percent of all my gill for it? Not really. So let's go back pieces here. So my spreadsheet right now for the back pieces for the subjob back pieces I only have. Warrior and Black Mage on my spreadsheet. Sort by level, please. Okay. Mercenary's Mantle, Enmity plus one. I have that. Wizard's Mantle, MP Resting plus one. And for some reason, some of the stuff shows up on the bottom only, like the plus one stuff. This is not getting sorted properly or something. I don't know why. Not the most emergency situation, but... And shields. Wow. There's no shields for sale right now. 
Wrestler's Aspis. Intelligence plus two as a sub monk. Hey, that's useful. Beater's Aspis. Evasion plus two for beaters. Is that Ranger? I think so. Yeah. Asigaru is sub Sam. And that's it. Just the three. I have those three already on my spreadsheet. So. Um, when it comes to waste, is there any pilferers belt? Pilferers belt, accuracy plus three. Fourteen, fifteen, twenty k. What do you think, guys? Pilferers belt, accuracy plus three for sub thief. Right now, I'm beast thief, accuracy plus three in a belt for fifteen k. When I only have. 52k. I'm going to say no. But the wyvern belt there, that's, that's a lot of wyvern belts on. For 2k for wyvern belt? Haste plus 2%, plus combined with the wyvern earring. So that's 2k. That's worth 2k for sure. If I had sub dragoon and dragoon earring or wyvern earring, none on the age right now, but that's haste plus five percent. That's twenty k. But who uses sub dragoon? Not many people. People would be using it just for that, pretty much. What's haste plus seven percent going to get me? I mean, on Monk, I could get the blue purple belt and get haste plus 4% right there. And then I could also get the, the earring and have haste plus 9% for Monk Dragoon. But right now, my goal for Beastmaster is to get all of the gear that I want and need for Monk. So right now, I, must, I stopped leveling Monk at 30. So I want to get all of that sweet 30 plus Monk gear and level up the right way with Monk, because that's my favorite job. So, I want to get Okotes and the Fuma Kayahan and Cross Counters and Jujitsu Gi, all that stuff for Monk before I level Monk. So that's why I wanted to level Beastmaster all the way up first. And there's one certain weapon at level 30 that I really want for Monk. It is a sweet, awesome hand-to-hand -hand weapon called um, Boreas Sesti. That's the NM in Bosidin Glacier. It's a Tiger NM. It's level 41 NM. And I'm level 40 right now. But I am Beastmaster, so I might be able to beat it. But the Boreas Sesti is a 6 damage uh, Sesti. But that's not significant right there. But what is significant about that item is that it is a 100% proc rate wind damage. So that wind damage, um, I'm curious on this server if that wind damage is, is better. Like the Sirocco Kukri uh, for Thief, that wind damage, I wonder if that constant 100% proc wind, wind damage would be better on this server. I don't know. I'd like to find out, and this monk has, it's like the only monk weapon like that that has like 100% proc rate wind damage, or any damage really. So, I want it. And the NM is a tiger called Karada in Bosodine Glacier.
Um, Buka Thaka, I am streaming live. Do you see the logo with the I swear I am live. <clears throat> um, let me give you the, the link. Can I not, can I not copy and paste here? Oh, there you are. Okay. There I am. Give me that wild onion. Hey, I'm almost dead. I should probably go fix that. Hey, wild onion. Good job. Last time I tried this, I was level 36 or so, and I ended up dying from a tiger in, no, I ended up dying from a bat eye in the glacier. So we'll see how this goes. Bukafaka, thank you. You weren't subscribed, and now you and I am now. I love your videos. Well, thank you. I'm not sure why, but I'll take it. I don't find myself very entertaining. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Put those in there. Oh yeah, that's good. Light them all up. Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh, mugger. Easy prey. I should probably rest. I should probably rest. I don't think there's any undead here. But when there are airmen around, demon eyes, probably should. And do seeker bats aggro if I rest in front of them?
Hitchard says, well, I fixed window where it looks like I had to run as admin for the profile. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I should have known that. Oh, these oozes. Oozes always aggro. Easy prey, level 28. Yeah, it'll aggro me. But you're running away from me, so that's fine. I remember back in the day, um, leveling on Beast in here on those oozes. So he's charm one of those oozes and two hour it and kill all these bats around. Good times. So, Hatred, when you get your profile going and, and get into, actually get into the game and you find that some of the dat files are weird or wrong ones and stuff like that, I would try running that um, don't touch registry file, and that should correct that if you care about that. Alright, so Sturge is aggro. Seeker bats don't, but Seeker bats will link to that. And of course, Scorpions will aggro. I think every Scorpion in the game aggros. Level 32, Cave Scorpion. Uh, I'm gonna try to sneak around it. I'll kill if I have to. Alright, Sturge will aggro me for sure though, but I just killed one easily. I'll fight. And this is the wrong way anyway. Yeah, I need to go north. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't avoid him now. Gonna try it. Ah, got me. You got me. It's the power of the Beastmaster. Hey, though, uh, scorpions are vermin, and lizards are good against vermin. So I'm just over here playing Pokemon. So the way I remember the monster correlation um, strengths and weaknesses is that I just know that birds and amorphs and aquans are on their own sort of triangle. And birds eat fish, which are aquans. Aquans eat, I mean, like uh, fish and stuff eat like worms because fish eat worms, so that's fish over um, amorphs, and then the amorphs eat birds because, well that one doesn't really make sense, I don't see any worms like coming out of the ground and grabbing, grabbing up birds, but that's kind of how I remember those. And when it comes to the other four of the animals, um, there is beasts, lizards, plantoids, and vermin. So beasts are on the top and beasts eat lizards. Um, basically you can see animals eating lizards all the time, I guess, in nature. Like animals eat lizards. Um, or like uh, beasts eat lizards, I guess. And then lizards eat bugs, so lizards eat vermin. Hey, I was up high and it didn't, it didn't see me. Nice. Um, and vermin eat plantoids because 
bugs eat plants. And then the plants somehow eat beasts again. So. And then, of course, the undead versus the. What is it? Uh, demons are opposing to. Demons oppose dragons. So they oppose each other. And undead oppose Arcana. That's what it is. Ar undead oppose Arcana. But it's not like you can charm undead or Arcana or demons or dragons anyway, so. And I don't think there are any jug pets for those either. Cool if I could have a jug pet dragon. It didn't aggro me. It'd be too low. But you know what? I'm gonna play it safe and these bad eyes are gonna gang up on me and use spells and I'm going to see if I can avoid them visually but use the boots here. Wait for him to settle down. I can probably avoid the, the eyes visually. So I will. But the zone isn't too far away so I'll just run to the zone if I do. Oh, that one got me. What the hell? Screw it. I'm running. No, I'm not. Too low. I'm fighting. Double 34. I can handle it. I'm petrified. That's just great. I'm level 40. So if I'm level 40, there we go. Here's maybe some con con confirmation. Level 5 petrified did not work on my familiar. So he's not level 40. It's probably level 39. So that might be confirmation for the, some person who had a question earlier. Level 5 Petrified did not work on my lizard. So, am I f fighting? I'm fighting. Screw it. Let's go. 5% with one melee hit. Yeah, this should work. Do I have any food? I have a Selbino milk, I'll use that. Oh. The, um... What was it again? Brain Crush. Brain Crush does silence. Brain Crush is... Number four on my macros. Okay. Well, five petrify. Lizard's petrified. Okay, so that confirms it for sure. The other one, 
Actually, there we go, because the lizard did not get petrified, it must have just resisted it. So the lizard just resisted it last time and did get petrified now, so the lizard definitely came out as level 40 when I when I called him. So that's confirmed right there. Or level 35, which doesn't seem right, but doesn't seem right that it would be that low. So the lizard so be steel loyalty can can call the the pet as level your current level. That's good to know. Good thing I fought that thing. Alright, so Lizard, you're about to die. I am going to pop an oil. I should rest, but pop in an oil. And I will avoid the eye since he just moved. Shouldn't attack me. Not true sight. And I should be good for the rest of the way. up here. Another bat probably. Just a sturge. Make it all the way through the glacier. Uh, we got a blizzard. familiar die because I want to use a tiger here because if I get aggroed by anything it's likely to be a tiger and tigers will eat my lizard so Change the title. To include the BCNM 20 Wings of Fury. And Trek to Basel to get Basel crystal. Okay. 
Okay, I'm back. All right, so I have to worry about um, tigers for now. Tigers are a decent challenge. They have quite a long range aggro and sight detection, but that should be avoidable. Unless it turns and just attacks me. Yep, looks like that. Mm, never mind, okay. Oh, now it got me, all right. Make sure I got my tiger equipped. Tiger is equipped. Be still loyalty. Attack. Attack. Three XP and a fang. Araman Tears or Scorpion Claw. Hello, Curus. Keen Eared Steffi. Hello. I think I can throw in my Cloudy Orb so I can grab that Tiger Fang. Those are useful for crafting. We got goblins too, but all sight aggro in theory totally avoidable. Tiger. I'll fight if I have to. I think I'm in his cone. Mm, maybe not. No cone. If I knew how to, I would create a an add-on or a plugin that would show the mob's detection cone or detection area. And I would avoid it just like I didn't do here. Really? Really, Shaman? And you're gonna nuke me, aren't you? Just stab me, please. Yep, you're gonna nuke me. Daga. Interrupted. Good job. Hmm. Kind of decent XP and gill.
Oh, the NM that I want. It's going to be a tough tiger. The equivalent is level 41, so it's going to be equivalent to a tough. Not any of these. Damn it. Damn it, Smithy. Okay, okay, I gotcha. I understand you don't want me in your area. This one's a decent challenge. You got this, Tiger. <gasps> Tom Toss. Alright. You know what? Screw these guys. Oil and powder. Let's just go. Now, there's nothing in this zone that can hurt me. Nothing in this zone that can detect me right now. That is. Tigers are sight, goblins are sight. Demon eyes are sight and sound. Elementals are magic, but I don't have any magic to cast. And I don't think there's any undead in this area. So. I'm good. At least for another two minutes or so. And I'm thinking I probably can't zone into Soja if I needed to. How do you all pronounce uh, this place underneath the Bosodine Glacier? PSO apostrophe XIA or whatever. PSO. Yeah, PSO apostrophe XJA. How do you all pronounce that? I, I say so ja. seconds on, on invis like pojax I don't know if the P is silent or the S is silent but Paso it could be Paso and Xja and I don't, I don't know what's silent there how am I supposed to know how am I supposed to know? Is the X silent? Is the J silent? Are they all spoken? Paso Xja. I don't know. Shut up, dog! Here, let me mute it while I yell louder. Okay. 
Oh, I see what you did, Edison. Soja boy. I get it. What's up, Jeff? La dope. La dope. La dopey. All right. I definitely get some blood aggro here. Blood aggro, sound aggro for bones. Sight and sound for eyes. Sight for gigases. Ooh, level 42 tough. Ooh, maybe I can XP here. Edison says Soja equals um, squiggles and so Zija. So she, uh, so she, uh, huh. I guess, I mean, some names in here are French, some names in here are English, but I guess this is probably Japanese. So she, uh, I've been saying soja for 18 years. I don't know if I can go back. All right, Jeff, then in that case, how do you pronounce this one? I can't type it. Uh, Bostono Obliette. Is it Bostono Obliette? I guess I can speak French all along. Not really. All right, tiger. Literally. All right, if I have to, I'll take these guys out, but I can't be ganged up by tough skeletons. Silent oil. I always like to see the Japanese names because with the hiragana, we can see how they expected us to pronounce it. With the hiragana, I don't know what hiragana is because I don't speak Japanese. Hiragana, does that mean like with the translation, you can see how it's expected to pronounce? With the hiragana. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'm weird, guys, but uh, whenever I come in here and I see uh, see these little uh, these little mounds at a certain angle, maybe it's just me. But <laughs> do you guys see it too, or maybe you uh, can't unsee it now? Buffalo. What the heck are buffalo doing here? Ice Fallow. Incredible. Level 82. What the? Oh, okay. Merit, again, merit camp. All right. Hiragana is the phonetic alphabet. Okay. Gotcha. So in that case, you can figure out what they, what they say. I gotcha. Shadow Dragon. Can't kill him. Cursed Weapon. Maybe I could survive against him. Ghosts, uh, I'm avoiding right now for sure. Etemu. I just need the crystal. Then I can get back here fairly easily. And there she blows. Vassal Gate Crystal. So, 
three missions accomplished today. I got my AF weapon, I got Police of Fury done, and the Basel Gate Crystal. But now what? Maybe I can get some XP here. Something tells me that's going to end up very bad if I try to level off skeletons. Hey. Hey. Oh, over there. There's the outpost. Not that any outpost will do me any good, but... If I can find a skeleton that's all alone, Ooh, that was very tough. By the way, if you guys aren't using the checker add-on, check this out. I can just click on check and it can tell me it tells me the exact level of that of that enemy. It's a good little good little add-on. Okay, the outpost is uh, definitely not available for me. So I'm going to try to kill this lost soul, because he's lost and I want to help him out. Fifty-two damage to my... okay, well... Paralyze it, please. This is probably a bad idea. But at least I'll have a quick way home if I do die. Of course, I forgot to bring reward biscuits. No, wait, I do have biscuits. Sorry. Reward. Here's your reward, Tiger. Good job. Can't wait to get Rampage. That's like level 55. Tiger, you're about to die. What can I solo DC or EM? Yeah, for sure DC and EM, but this is a tiger and 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 skeletons in particular, when they're tough, they are tough. And if he um Blood savers, then I'm in real trouble. Or clouds, not bad. It's just blind. Woo! 150 XP. But the fact that I have to rest full each time after something like that means the downtime is great. So it is better XP to just chain bunches of. Not technically, not. Skill, not um, experience chain, but just slaughter EMs and DCs as Beastmaster, anyway. I can solo a tough with Beast. I've actually soloed BTs with Beast, too, depending on the, the mob I, depending on the pet I have and the um, thing I'm fighting. Um, I said, talk about earlier about monster correlations. Like these tigers here are strong against lizards. So if there was a, uh, a tough lizard, I would have a little bit easier time fighting that lizard with the tiger. Um, but there are also um, enemies that are squishy, like um, like worms. 
Worms are super squishy because they're all black mages. And if I use Courier Carry, um, who is a Aquan against the, that Amorph, the Worms are Amorphs, then um, the monster correlation basically means that um, there is a chance for the monster I'm fighting to be intimidated by the monster, the, the pet I have. So that basically acts like a paralyze. I have that a trait myself with um, um, just as Beastmaster. I have Vermin, Bird, Lizard, and Amorph Killer. Basically, if they're attacking me, they might get paralyzed. Basically, it's called, called an intimidation because it's a lizard, lizard killer, vermin killer, you know. But my pet also has that ability depending on what pet they are, what they're fighting. Also, if I do end up getting the Killer Instinct ability on this server, then the Killer Instinct will take whatever um, intimidation effect that my pet has and grant it to the whole party. Nobody here, pups. Also with Killer Instinct, it's not just that intimidation effect, it's also a flat 15% damage bonus to all the whole party members, to all the members of the party, if I'm using the right pet for the right mob. So you just want a flat 15% damage bonus. There you go. And I believe it's a um, it's a job ability. I think it's a merit ability. And you just use it for like five minutes. You have 15% damage boost for all your party. And that they they don't themselves have to be um, like beastmaster or anything. They just 15% damage on extra on their nukes or something, you know, if they're a black mage, so that's awesome. That's killer instinct. And we don't, we're not going to likely, at least not for a long time, get any sort of like AF3, which actually helps the killer instinct uh, bonuses. Um, that's the, uh, the farine, the farine gear from Abyssia. Um, if we ever do get that gear, then there might be bonuses for that ability also. Let's try another one. Incredibly tough, not that one. Very tough. If I two houred my pet, I might be able to beat the very tough one. But even then it's only gonna give me like an extra 30 XP or something. So. Basically, I'm just playing right now until I die, so I can go back home quickly. But I could go back to the glacier and get some actual decent XP, so let me do that. Let's play it safe, go back to the glacier. I did not do hardcore mode. I, for some reason, I thought that you could just like go onto it any time and just like, try it. Ice crab? What the hell are crabs doing up here? Also, for merit parties, okay. Um, this, is, this is dangerous, what am I doing? Um, for some reason I thought like hardcore players you could just select at any time, you don't have to select it right off the bat pretty much. So I went outside and I started uh, like XPing on whatever job, and I'm like, I, don't, I think you can't do hardcore mode after that. Or maybe you can, but it resets you whatever it resets you to level one or something. I'm not sure. But no, I didn't. And it's probably a good good idea too because I died within the first uh, 15 minutes, I think. As is the case with Final Fantasy XI, you die a lot. Ice crabs and hmm, I need to do a video on all the new XP camps. But I just now discovered one of them, so I feel like I couldn't do the video justice by giving you like five of them when there's some maybe, who knows, 25 out there. Maybe one day when I'm 75 and I can safely run around everywhere, I can explore all areas and catalog all these camps. Once you hit level two, you can't activate it. Okay. Well. I'm screwed then. That's all right. I would have died. I wouldn't have got much, far, very much into it anyway. Is this just the way I play? All 
Alright, what do we got out here? I think there are some eyes up here. I'm pretty much probably going to play until... Oops, oops, sorry. Play until something happens in the house that makes me need to go AFK for a long time. Ghast! Oh, there are undead out here. Well, there we go. Let's fight the ghast. I already have two mules, and they're already past level two also, so. I suppose I could delete a mule, but whatever. Seventy six XP. See, that was such an easier fight, and I got I killed it probably at least half the time, and I got half the XP from the, as the other one. So, so much more worth it. Ooh, this one's a tough bet. I, I don't want to mess with a tough one of those. Decent challenge guest. screws up when you're when you go to do a ready move while your while your pet's paralyzed I think see I load timers there once it's already once it once it kind of craps out on me but then I get like a signet timer up here that counts down backwards from zero. So it's like I've had it on for negative 15 seconds and it's just going to keep going forever. So like once you have that glitch for timers, I got to like keep it off. And I need those timers for my ready moves. So. Yeah. I didn't do hardcore either. I knew it wouldn't you know, need to death warp. Yeah, no death warping if you're hardcore. Bat eyes, even match. Lots of bat eyes. Well, I'm fighting now. wish these beast pets would be able to skill chain. I'm not sure if that's in era. I'm pretty, I guess it's not in era. Maybe after a certain expansion pack came out that the beast pets were actually able to skill chain. Maybe that's why they haven't done it yet. But Timers bug me too when they bug out. Yep. If I could skill chain with my beast pet, it's over. It'll be all over for these monsters. Come 
Come on, survive. How about a uh, reward? How about that? Reward. Survive for one more hit. Gotcha. 100 XP. I want to drop something for the Beastman Seal. Yeah. Revival Tree Root. Do I want to drop something for the Beastman Seal? Yes. Sorry. Twitter. Twitter is so silly. Okay, are we ready yet? Can we go kill some stuff, please? Want that dragon? Not dragon. Want that uh, Gigas? Slate Gigas, forty-three tough. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it, and I'm gonna kill it. Three levels above me. That's a high tough. It's almost a VT. But I'm doing it. Doing it for the stream, baby. For the stream! In fact, I'm gonna two hour my pet. Familiar. Enhances your pet's powers and lengthens duration of charm. So it makes the charm a half hour from that point on. And it strengthens my stats, I guess. Okay. Reward, reward. Grand Slam. Do I have Unleash? I don't have Unleash. Uh oh, my tiger's gonna die. My tiger's gonna die. My tiger's dead. My tiger's dead. Meat. Meat broth. Job ability. Bestial loyalty. Activate. Fight. Go. Take hate. Take hate. That's the power of Beastmaster right there. There, Merlot, Merlot. It's probably really impressed with my Beastmaster skills.
Uh oh, it's okay. That's not good. I'm gonna turn around a little bit. Uh oh, power attack, not me. No. Okay, good. You take it from there. You take it. Had to use up two whole pets for this thing. 200 XP, 200 experience points. Hundred eighty six skill. Sweet. I need to go farm gigases. Someday. Bad eye, no thank you. Not right now. Okay. Almost, almost. Not into fighting a tough bat, bat eye, but perhaps a goblin. Yes. More goblins. Goblins are good. More goblins, please. <clears throat> More tigers. <clears throat> tigers work too.
Tiger's a warrior. They got that double attack. That sucks. Might be a bad idea, but let's go with it. My fight keeps getting paralyzed. This is probably a bad idea. Fight! Fight! Fight, please! Wow, this is some terrible paralyze. Wow. Fight, please. Thank you. And more paralyze. Can't paralyze my weapon skill though. I'm surprised I survived. All right, folks, well, I'm getting hungry right now, so I'm going to have to call it a day for the stream. I'm gonna go grill it with some sausage. And eat sausage for lunch, because I am a carnivore. Um, but let me get to a safe spot first. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and maybe even, maybe if you really want to, hit the notification bell to find out when I'm going live or when I post a new video. Sneak on between these things, oh yeah. That's some uh, Final Fantasy XI stealth right there. And if you'd like it, that'll help me out with the algorithm. I need about 600 and, or 400, 375 more subs to, to monetize this channel. And if they can do that, then I can start making some cents. Maybe not dollars, but some cents maybe. And okay, great. Oh, 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 okay, he got me. All right, all right, let's do it. One more fight. Thank you, Chaotic Potato. All right, I gotta get ready to call my beast again. Here we go. Beastial loyalty is down. I could call beast. Fight. Take hate, take hate. Whew. That's how Beastmaster does it. Look at me just creeping around the corner here. <clears throat> I'm telling my pet to do stuff around the corner. Oh, uh, is that Gigas going to get me? Uh, the Gigas got me. Yeah, I'm dead. At least finish off the tiger and give me some XP. And that's also how Beastmaster does it. Yes, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you around next time. Bye-bye.